Hello Antique and Garden Showcase friends and welcome to the Wednesday update. Today is going to be a little bit short. Um, lots going on. The sales and retail are through the roof for the month of February, which I'm proud to report. I've sold, I think, 64 items year to date already, which is really, really good. It's way ahead of schedule. So the new booth is really taking off and doing well. So I'm going to take you in, show you a few of the new items that I've put in. Actually, a couple have already sold, but I'll try to throw up pictures if I can of some of those items that have already walked out the door. So here we go, Wednesday update. I have not taken you over to the showcase very often, but here are the items that are in the showcase. There is a very neat... Uh, Shriners piece there in the middle. It's kind of a rare um, cup that you don't see too often. I've got it listed at $85. It's 1910. New this week is a Murano bowl. This thing is stunning. It's uh, priced at 45. These actually sell for hundreds online, but got a good deal in passing that along. Some cute paperweights. There's an octopus there. A little marble dolphin. Some kind of odds and ends. So I've not shown you this case. It's kind of neat. Here's a uh, 1910 cookbook in here, an old bicycle horn, some jewelry and things. I've actually sold some pieces in here, so it's kind of thin right now. And then a set, a really nice set of Queen Bess silver plated flatware. Um, that's actually marked down to $25, so really good uh, deal for someone there. In the booth new this week is a new piece of artwork right here. There was another one there, which I'll put up on the screen that sold right away. So that one's gone, got another one here. This one's listed for $75. At the same sale where I got that original piece, I bought up this 1886 lithograph. Lithograph, don't be afraid. Got that listed at $40. It's framed and double matted. Kind of a neat piece if i can get the glare off of there a little bit you can well there we go so trying to keep some neat artwork pieces in here as well so there was a long mirror hung here that i picked up at auction that actually sold the same day i brought it in i didn't even have a chance to film it i mean it was like yesterday so you know <laughs> kind of wild the uh, flower pots are selling well. I've sold out of all the scalloped rims at the top right now, and those are back ordered, so I can't get any more at this moment, but they're going to let me know when I can. The little mid-century ones, I've sold a few, but I've moved a bunch to the table, so hopefully more of those will go, and some of these pretty uh, designs here as well. That's a really neat kind of old-fashioned type design. All these have um, felt little tabs in the bottom so if you want to use them indoors or out doesn't matter um, they work both ways really well from this last auction I don't think there's anything else in here but you can kind of see there might be some things that I've missed in the past really nice copper cookware these are super pieces really good tinning in good shape really heavy there's a nice broiler pan at the bottom Trying to think if there's anything else new in here. I think you've seen these on previous ones. A little God into a trinket basket. Bud vases are still really big, selling a lot of vases. This one's really nice. Amethyst priced at $8. Be super for those spring flowers we got coming out. don't believe there's anything else new over here. I've not had a lot of chance to shop this week, but uh, hopefully I'm going to have to get out soon because things in here are moving, moving, moving like crazy. I did sell some pieces over here on clearance. I marked some other things down. This set of, this is needle etched Tiffin glasses. I did have those at $42.50. They're marked half off, so $21.25 on those. Um, I marked down the last of the wooden shelves I had. It's half price now. It was originally $35, so $17.50. I don't think anything else is different in here. These are a good buy for somebody. $5 a piece, half off. And over here, we still have these beautiful 
Chippendale style chairs with really nice upholstery on them. You know, people have come up and said, do you just have two? Yeah, I just have two is all I was able to buy, but they're pretty paired with a table. Think entrance hall, think living room, extra chairs, um, lots of different uses on these. Price to sell the pair at $85 and they're Universal Furniture Company. This table is also marked down. I've got 20% off of 75 on this one. It's an Ethan Allen table, and that is signed on the drawer. So it's an authentic Ethan Allen drop leaf table. This one had a particular style. I don't know if I put it down there. Georgian Court was the name of that one. Pem Pembroke, Georgian Court. So it's actually on little rollers. Super nice little side table. And we also have the really nice monumental Marigold Carnival overlay bowl still available as well. Really neat that that's overlaid over that yellow glass like that. It makes it stand out so much more. Well, I'm back home here and we're in Garden Zone 6B. And as you can see behind me here, the Saucer Magnolia tree is in full bloom. And this tree always scares us just a little bit because it tends to be early here in 6B. It gets a few warm days and then it blooms out. And then the next thing you know, we get another freezing night and then it turns completely almost black. It gets to be ugly looking. But for now, we are enjoying this display that's behind me here. Um, I'll show you a little up close of this tree. These are typically referred to as saucer magnolias. They're, the blooms are about as big as a saucer. They have really, really pretty variegated pink and white blooms. I'll try to get as much in as I can here. But this tree, I don't know how old it is. I can remember when we bought it. <laughs> it was from, of all places, the Kmart Garden Center for $8 in a little bucket and we set it out and it's a kind of a multi-trunk type tree. It has kind of a huge, I'll show you the center of it. It's really thick. We worry about it splitting and actually breaking in the wind, but so far it's been a very, very sturdy tree. You can see there how the trunk looks, but it's huge. It's been here for quite a number of years, but this display is just so pretty, you know, whenever it first comes out. And we enjoy it as long as we can because we know that it still is not quite spring just yet, even though the saucer magnolia is in really, really pretty bloom. Another pretty magnolia that's an early spring bloomer is the white star. This one has more of a thin type bloom. I show this one every year in pictures. It blooms about the same as the saucer. Unfortunately, this one was placed in a poor location because it's under the shade of the beast tree up here. And uh, it does not get as big and pretty as it should have if it was out in more of an open area. But those are really, really pretty blooms. And there's a bee in there. Honey bees are already out. Here's a real testament to strength. These pansies all survived negative five degree temperatures. They were planted last fall and they're all coming back up after this brutal, brutal winter here in 6B. Even the ones that were down to the ground are still coming back. And we've got some really pretty blooms in some places. So this bed should be full of daffodils and pansies very shortly. Well, I hope to get you some more spring updates coming out soon, some more booth updates coming out soon. It's been a really busy time right now. It's um, merchandising reset season for me and that's my first job so i've been trying to get ahead in these stores and get them ready for you know their spring and summer as well so it's been keeping me really really busy i'm tied down with about 16 projects in the next couple of weeks but i'm still trying to find time to do all the things that i love to do in between and get these merchandising jobs over with so i can uh, you know, focus on some of these other things. And I like that job. The great thing about it is I can be my own scheduler. I can go when I want to. I just have to finish the projects in the window of time that they give me. So anyway, 
that's a wrap for today. I hope you're having a good week. If you uh, don't mind to like this channel, uh, leave some comments for me and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good week. Bye.